Billy, for Christ's sakes, you must be committed, right? No, 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 no. Mom, Mom. Okay. I mean, you're just a young kid. What are you doing here? You gotta be out in a convertible while bird dogging chicks and banging beaver. What are you doing here, for Christ's sake? What's funny about that? That there's this agenda in mainstream media, and I think it's fairly easy to back this up to keep people stupid, docile, and apathetic, and therefore the elite... Oh, you scum! 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 Do you feel in charge? I don't give a fuck about your war. Or your president. Now, by having this war on terror, you can never win it, because this is, this is an eternal war. And so you can always keep taking people's liberties away. I said, how are you going to convince people that this war is real? He said, for the media. You know, it's just that you keep talking about things. You keep saying it over and over and over again. And eventually people believe this. You know, you created the Federal Reserve in 1913 through lies. You create 9-11, which is another lie. Through 9-11, you, then you're fighting a war on terror. And now all of a sudden you go into Iraq, which is another lie. And now they're going to do Iran. So get out the way, move, bitch. Get out the way. Move out the way, bitch. Get out the way. And you Satanists want to sacrifice the West. You want to kill the beautiful goddess that is the West. You people are enemies. And we're going to get your asses. And we know what you're up to. And we're coming for you. Tom Beyond Big Brother or Brave New World? Yeah, yeah, you're down with it. And I go down, and there's people with huge mustaches and a pink sock and a green sock dancing with pot bellies. And they go, screw you, Alex. Ah, we don't care. And I'm like, it's a master plan to take you down. I think your mustache is cool, actually. We're called men. And the world doesn't need us anymore, we're told. It's the end of the age of men. We'll see about that. Time to stand up to these people. Take the gloves off and tell them, I see you, demon. I see you. Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. This is their plan, people. These are demons. Just like the Bible says, it's basically an intergalactic invasion into this space through people. I, I'm telling you, it's what all the ancients said. It's what they warned of. It's what we're dealing with. They're demons. They're freaking interdimensional invaders, okay? I'll just say it. Make fun of me all you want on CNN or wherever, but everyone already innately knows this. These people are not freaking humans, okay? Hillary Clinton is a goddamn demon, servant of Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ, get behind me. Get behind me. If you hate humanity so much, then you have the courage to slit your own rest. Kill yourself. Never, never defeat the human spirit. You'll never defeat God. You'll never win. Never, never, ever, never. What would I have done? Yeah. I would have done a little just begun. I gotta finish my coffee. Finish it? I'm trying to finish it. Yeah. You can sip and talk. I'm sipping, I'm talking. No biggie. Yeah. Yeah. Malt. That was heavy. Jones is the if I, go, if I got nothing, I, I just go to Jones. Dude. I, love I got Jones, nothing. Dude. Mars fucking stopped spinning, fucked me up, fucked yeah. my ass up. I mean, the amount of people on Matt and Shane's cast that quote Jones that don't even know it makes me so happy. Uh, one day we'll find it. Yeah, yeah, the Earth suit and how cool is God? How good is our God? It's on it's and out. It's there Jones. somewhere, man. It's like, I want to say two If we can find the episode. Nah, it wasn't two years, man. Whatever it was. If we yeah. can find the episode that we were on with Matt and Shane first, then we could find the episode. We'll figure it out one day. That'll be a fucking gem. Yeah. I, I, I love that line, dude. <laughs> God, God's cooler than anything on the internet. Yeah. Literally, I'm with him on that right now. I'm just off. All week long, it's been astrology, guided meditation. Astrotheology. Excuse me. Sorry. I, sh I need respect Santos Benucci. <laughs> dude, that, that fucking a video. Beast. When he was, uh, he has $130,000 in expired tolls is some of the funniest shit I've ever that seen. That was a good one, yeah. He's, he's not going to pay like an idiot. Yeah, of course, dude. <laughs> yeah, but dude, like after seeing um, the 
paramedic or whatever in Kenosha, and like CNN's holding him up as some. Like, oh, I still haven't seen this, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's just like I got butt fucked for work. I know. That paint. I'm I'm out. Like I'm no law. I can't do it. I can't pay attention to that. What? So what happened? You gotta tell me. They're they're like making him out to be some hero, and he's like crying. the guy that got his arm blown up. Yes. Okay, he was about to kill Kyle. Yeah. So there, he's 22. So that's their big thing. Like he was only 22, and they're interviewing him, and he's like saying like he was just a paramedic. He like didn't do anything wrong. And it's like, dude, you had a gun. Yeah, the gun you pointed at Kyle. Yeah. The pictures are there, and they're not saying anything. So I'm done. You want to have a podcast about astrology? I'll talk about it all day long. When it comes to the bullshit, bye bye. I can't pay attention to it. Like that is crazy. They're trying to make him the they're hero. Just, you're saying they're just trying to make him look like a victim, not even a hero. Yeah, I mean and, he is a victim. He's a victim of fucking Kyle's accuracy. Yeah, <laughs> Kyle's training. Now he's missing ninety percent of his bicep. I feel for you, brother. I just did curls this morning. He put himself in that situation, man. Yeah, you want to be a told him to, Nobody told him to go, oh, man, the, the country's so fucked up. I have to go br- blast cars apart and yeah. light them on fire. Yes. If they were being good protesters, you wouldn't have Kyle. Yeah. I mean, Kyle was there to help Kyle, him. Kyle would be there protesting, too. Yeah. It, I saw that, and I was just like, yeah, man. You guys want to team up, go against Big Gov, dude. I'm with you. I'm with everyone on that, but my God, like. I was I was talking to my friends. They were just go like nine eleven just happened. Put it this way, we all know what happened, dude. We don't have to get into it. We know who did it. We know why they did it. Don't have to argue about it. That's all. But they're going freaking out, doing the old like jet fuel can obviously melt steel Your beams. Friends, they're talking yes. about physics. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to talk about how the buildings fell. Yes, everyone saw it. They fucking fell. I want to talk about why and who. But no one wanted to hear it. And right when I was just like the the news and everything has them so good that right when I start talking about that, it's like you're an unpatriotic piece of shit. I was like, okay, dude. I I mean, I just won't argue about that. I'll shut up. They won. Yeah. I, how are you unpatriotic? That's what I said. I was like, dude, go listen to fucking Toby Keith and chill out. I don't know what you want me to do. Are say. we actually – did we actually do an investigation? No. Right after 9-11, did we go say, wait a second, who did this? Or did we carry out someone else's plan right after that? It, lo- it looked like we carried out someone else's plan. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, man. You know why? Because that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like, once I saw that, I was just like, I mean, we were watching astrology videos. The spades a gorgeous aquamarini. I'm a gorgeous Capricorni. Mm, my beautiful Scorpioni. Scorpioni. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> And uh, my God, just like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not changing anyone's mind, dude. I given up. If you want to believe that fucking really cool Arabic guys came and hijacked planes, whatever. I mean, cool. That's your theory. Everyone's a fucking hero. 19 Jason Bournes out there. Yeah. <laughs> a little, little bit of flight school and you're doing that. No problem. Whatever. I don't care. But we have bigger fish to fry, dude. Cuties is officially out, and I want to blow my own head off. Just, just reading the shit, dude. What, what's your problem with cuties, man? <laughs> what, what is your major malfunction with? What cuties? are you, you a funny guy, <laughs> dude? I read, I didn't watch it because I obviously you don't watch any of this stuff, dude. I canceled Netflix. They're saying in in one of the scenes. The girls go on a laser tag adventure and get in trouble. And to get out of trouble, they twerk for the older security guards. You you come at these people. You call everyone a pedophile. Yes. You don't even see these clips. I don't want to. You don't even watch these clips. Okay. <laughs> but good news for you today, Bill. What? I have the clips with me. You watched them? Do you want to see what everyone's upset about? Yes. Do you think you might be overreacting a little bit? No. <laughs> they said in the beginning scene, the girl blew up a condom and made it her tit. Well, you didn't watch the movie, but I did. I did the work. Jesus Christ, dude. You're like, whatchamacallit, all the cops in True Detective Season 1 where they saw the video. I have nine videos that we can go through. If you want to hit pause, you uh, can watch the video, and I'll give you a reaction. We could talk about what happened. <laughs> It's so gay that you have to walk back and forth to hit pause on this, man. This is ridiculous. I need, I need to get up and get air. What the fuck was that, dude? So that's when the girl, she... she there's a, She's laying on the ground. Nah, nah, nah. Chill, chill, chill. Calm the fuck down, dude, okay? Fu- Calm the fuck down. This is a story about a girl 
who comes into a new group of girls. They're, they're the Minjonis, dude, okay? First of all, the Minjonis in France are a you little... Wa- it's all in French, too, and you watch this? I put it on English. Okay. So, anyway. Um, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm a film buff. I've seen a lot of movies, dude. I could watch it in French. No big. <laughs> anyway, so you know, we have the dancers. And they, the Minjonis are bitches, dude. This girl comes from Senegal. She, dude, they don't want to chill with her. Oh. Obviously, she's the outsider, dude. She's the outsider. She's from this Muslim community. You actually watched it. <laughs> and she's walking around, and she really wants to. She's, like, intrigued by these, these Minjones. The Minjones are dancing, and they have their little, like, squad, and she wants to join. So they're ha- trying not to curse. One of the girls, one of the girls, she's a thicky queen. She's a little bit older. I have a hard 11. time. I have a hard time believing she's 11 because okay, she's, she's buxom. She's buxom. And <laughs> what, so she gets kicked out of the group because she got in a fight during school they all go to school together because they're in fifth grade okay <laughs> and they all go to school together it's weird they run around and they like try to like videotape boys dicks and shit they're really they're really in they're ahead of their time let's say and so they're dancing they're doing their thing and this girl from senegal really wants to make friends she just moved into a housing project and what i just showed you was the clip where the one girl got kicked out of the dance group and they they didn't know who they were going to get because the competition's in a week, man. How are the, how's someone going to learn all these moves that fast? But the girl from Senegal, she just showed the other girl she has the moves. And you saw the moves. So, Bill, what did you think of those dance moves, man? They're pretty cool, right? Dude. What, what the fuck? <laughs> the chick is on the ground, flat, slamming her pussy against the ground. You know where I saw that? Watching porn, dude. That's a porn move. No, no, but in the earlier in the film, they're watching porn together. They watch porn together too. So yeah, fuck Zach and Miko, dude. They watch porn and they talk about. Um, they watch porn and they they talk about the penises and they are like, "Do you have a brother? Have you seen his?" Like, uh, I mean, the writing. You have a brother, the, dude. The writing in this film, like the in, interesting. I want to di- punch dude, you the fucking <laughs> the, face, the interesting dude. dialogue in this film, dude. Amazing. I mean, really a work of art. Um, Bill. When you say that shit about Zach and Miko, you got to understand, I told you this before, that's how normal people think, which is fine, because, dude, in a normal world, we should be able to have movies like this, about stories like this, but the cinematographer and the director, the guy, the cameraman's a fucking dog, dude, he's a... He's oh. a hound. The cameraman stays on that ass, dude. The whole movie. That's an eleven year old you're talking dude, about. Stays on that ass, dude. How, dude? You how? wanna watch another clip? <laughs> you wanna pause and watch another clip? I got nine of them, dude. That was the first. You wanna just get another one? Get some more up in you, boy. I just saw you wanted to hit pause because of the sound. You're a sound fucking you queen about fucking this shit, dude. Man. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just saying hit pause so you can watch this because the people can't watch this. They're putting their fucking fingers in their mouth. That's nothing, dude. Why? Well, they're just, first of all. They were smacking each other's asses and twerking. just got invited into the group, so they're excited. And they're going to do, she's showing, they're all happy and they're working on their thrusts. So like she, what well, the one thing that they were making fun of her before was she had a flat ass. So, you know, so, no shit, dude. She's 11. <laughs> so the one thing she couldn't really twerk. So they put their hands on it oh and they're like God. doing the little wedgies and they're like, kind of like they're doing the wedgie and they're showing her how to use that pelvis the right way. Dude. You know, 11. Yeah. All right. So I don't even have to hit pause for that. No, hit play, right. dude. You can hear my live reaction to a, a nice cinema. <laughs> you recorded this on a Chromebook, dude. <laughs> oh, this one. It's okay. Yeah, this I, is I can I, I can watch it. So this is when they're they're yeah. having little girls th- This is their audition in front of the judges, and the one judge couldn't look more like James Alphanis. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> the, what judges? They're in a dance competition. I mean, Jones are in a dance competition. They're trying to like be the best dancers in France, dude. This is like child porn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're gra- like everything they are doing looks like it's on a penis. Yeah, that's we just got started, dude. You yeah. know. And they're doing this in front of men. Yeah, they're doing it in front of a guy and a girl who are in their late 30s. People are defending this after watching it too. You know that, right? <laughs> 
Oh no, I don't pay much attention to that. Why are the cops being called? What the fuck, dude? Dude, what the f Is that the laser tag scene? What is this? I told you, you they, they're trouble? You got it. You got it. You got it. Why are they zooming on their butts, dude? This is satanic. This is empowering. They let them go because of that. I mean, that guy, he liked it. He liked it a lot. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Okay, so... You know, like, uh, what the fuck is that, dude? Now they're in the playground. They're in the playground after they uh, get... You know, they want to make a video now. Yeah. Oh, shit, my shit's making... Ooh. So they want to make a music video here. Yeah. Let me watch this. Yeah. So this is like their big performance. This is their. This is what they're up to when they're like making their own music video. They're waiting for the train. They got moves, dude. That's their fucking pussy, dude. Yeah, I know. We are just getting going, dude. <laughs> I, we we said it. We said it with euphoria. They're gonna keep on pushing the envelope. Is it over? Thank you. Yo, dude, you gotta calm the fuck down, man. I want to show you these clips. Dude, I want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I mean, do you not want to do this? It just stopped. Stop doing this. It right stopped. Now. It stops when my my screen froze. Oh, they're still dancing. Yeah, dude. You how gotta work, act like you don't know how to work a phone, dude. Dude, come on, man. Hey, dude, I didn't make the movie. You're mad at me like I I'm made not, I'm it. Not, I'm not mad at you, but I'm just saying anyone, dude. She's touching her pussy. She's 11. 11-year-old touching her pussy. Oh, we get, this gets way better. It gets worse than this. Oh, yeah, this is the beginning. Why? This is the beginning of... This is the beginning of the fucking movie? This is the beginning of the, the, the dance part. This is when she just got invited to the dancing. Dude. What the I, fuck? Yeah. I mean, what normal person is considering their out. cinema? Huh? <laughs> what normal person? Like, that Corinne Fisher chick just went off on Twitter defending cuties. Yeah, we could talk about that. I just want to, I want to get through these clips so you actually know what you're talking about. Because you say shit sometimes, this. right? What? That I know you didn't see it. You know? I don't want to see this. But I want you to be informed. <laughs> then you can have an opinion. Do you understand that? I thought it was a trap. I thought I could have went like, oh, I'm going to watch cuties. And I come in here like, you watch cuties, you're a pedophile. Let me, I want to show you this stuff. Here's what I want to do. I want to show you the stuff so you actually have an informed opinion. Okay. You're not just parroting someone else's ideas. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'm letting you see it. You keep shutting it the fuck off. <laughs> Dude. Watch the fucking shit, and then we can talk about it. How many more clips are there? There's more clips. Uh-huh. Here. <laughs> this one is when she, they see their rival gang, right? Of 11-year-olds. No, no. These girls are older, and they flash titty. They're the girls that flash titty, you know, when you were getting that warning. That Minor happened, nudity? That happened way earlier in the film. Minor nudity. They were at home. They were playing on a bed, tickling each other, having a pillow fight, and they were talking about their rivals who show tits. And that's why they're going to win, because they show titties. But anyway, here. This is when they see their rivals in the park. They got in a fist fight. <laughs> and then the girl, she, you know, she got pantsed. She got pants? During the fight, because that happens all the time. You know? What the Yeah. Fuck? Cuties have to roll after that. You know, it's cool. it sort of has like a West Side Story feel. <laughs> her dad wants the phone back. This is a big weird scene where her dad wants the phone back. And <laughs> she's trying to, she's doing some weird shit where she's like using her sexuality against her dad, which... Uh, this to me, I, I got confused with this. <laughs> um, then her dad wants the phone back. He's so mad that she stole the phone. So, but right before she has a social media like an Instagram. Yeah. Obviously, right this is the Muslim chick. Yeah, right before your dad takes the phone away. Obviously, you have to take a picture of your pussy and post it online. Or pussy? Yeah. Obviously, you have to do that. 
That's something that 11-year-olds do all the time. Dude, what the fuck? We're just getting going here, buddy. She's taking a picture of her pussy. I know. <laughs> on Flash. I know, dude. The Flash is on. I know. Have you, have you ever taken hey, a picture of your prize as Flash? I, I mean, You're looking at it. Yeah. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. I'd rather not know. <laughs> I know. You'd rather not know about a lot of this stuff, dude. This is sickening. This is when she's gone through some kind of Muslim ritual to, like, clean her of, like, her wrong deeds that she's doing right now. Yeah. I want you to get into the cinematography here because this is the real focus of the film is, like, someone got behind this camera and was like, this is what I have to shoot right now. And have her shaking. Like, this is the stuff I should be... This is, like, when I'm composing the scene, the square of the film, you know? Looks like she's getting fucked. This is where this literally looks like she's getting fucked by God. But this is where the the camera should be right here, and it goes down. Honed in on the pelvis region. Hey, she's twerking, but she's twerking. She's twerking for the Lord. In underwear for halal. This is sex. Like this is sex. Yep. This is sex. That's sex. They're having sex with imaginary people on video. That's enough. I see you're supremely fired up. So anyway, here's the deal. The movie, they made the movie. And I understand the concept of the film, Mm. right? I understand people defending it. but Maybe I don't don't get it because I just watched Gladiator. I'm not up there yet. I don't think people that are defending it saw the film. People are saying, I watched the movie and I'm defending it. Yeah, so I think that they're lying (sighs) because there's stuff in here. (laughs) <laughs> the b- she took a picture of her pussy. That's nothing. The build-up, the whole vibe of the film. They show minor tits. That's child porn, not minor nudity. All right, can I get a word out here, man? Sorry, go ahead. What I'm trying to do is explain to you that it's not just the visuals that they'll get clipped on. Yeah. The concept of the film are, is these girls are so young and cutie, they're so Joni, <laughs> that they fucking... That, that they just want to do this innocent dance thing, dude. And, you know, her, it's her Muslim, her Muslim background definitely doesn't want her doing any of this stuff. That's yeah. like the one half of the film. Yeah. The other half of the film is that these young girls get together and you get a little glimpse into their world and their world when their parents aren't around. And whoever made this film thought that it would be good to zoom in on their crotches and their asses and their twerking while they look at porn and talk about boys and eat gummy bears with no hands just with their mouths on a bed while they have pillow fights. And they do all kinds of real cutie stuff that only little kids do. That's not, but also that. that while they're doing the little cutie stuff, their asses are shaking. Their asses are shaking. <laughs> but it, again, there's also really powerful scenes in this film where it is a coming of age story because you stand, a girl walks through the doorway, the Senegal girl walks through the doorway, uh. and immediately through her jeans, you see her have her period. You see the blood pour yeah, out. That's what happens. Yeah, she becomes a woman on screen. Oh, she's 11. <laughs> and when you can see, when, when you see this film through the eyes of a pederast, of somebody that would prey on a child. I can't think of a better... I mean, this is like in their... This is Cinemax. For them, it... I mean, Oh, yeah, the headphones are on. Oh, this is fucking Cinemax. Yeah, for, for them, dude, this is like... This is probably the greatest movie that's ever been made. You know what I mean? It's got everything. But the psychology of that they're so young and so confused about their newfound sexuality. I don't even want to show you the last scene when, they, when they dance, dude. I don't even want to show you. like when They actually showed a girl's nipple? Yeah, but in the beginning. But it's not one of the cuties. It's like their rival gang. Who are not of age. I don't know. I mean, they, they look older. These girls are, an, they're constantly mad that they're treated like little kids. Because they are 11. They are mad at the older boys for not liking them. Yeah. Their whole vibe is like they want to be older, but they also don't know how to be older without being sluts. So that's the confusing part. Sure. I'm sure this is every girl's coming of age yeah. situation, you know? I mean, this is just flat out wrong. Like, I couldn't imagine having a kid and then watching this and just go, fuck it, yeah, Netflix. Way to show them how it is. Yeah, the, I mean, the whole movie the whole movie really shows off the, the, the mind of a child yeah. and the body of children sure. as they struggle to perform adult sexuality. 
Yeah. So that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I don't know what Netflix is saying in their description. It's a coming of a coming of age story for women empowerment. Well, do you want to watch them in their final battle? Sure. You think you can handle it without breaking anything? I almost punched it. Guys, we paused and Bill broke a table, so. Oh, God. This is when the, the cuties just got announced and they are going up to win their award, you know, to try to win their dance battle. The Menjonis. <laughs> this is going to be a hey, tough one for you. Isis, you want to bomb anything? Bomb one of these, please, if, for the love if of God. My, if my screen goes dark, just please act it. like you know how to use a phone. Sorry, dude. My brain is shutting down watching 11-year-old girls. Dance sexually on a camera. It's her ass. Yep. Finger in the mouth, dude. Mm, yeah, you like, penis. you like that. They're pussies, yep. Love them. Why would you grab the inside of your thighs? Yeah, they, that's the, when she bends over. Yeah, yeah, sure. And she's mooning everybody. Yep. Then she grabs the inside yep. of her thighs to kind of like spread it. You know? Oh, yes. Because there's pussies in between their legs. I've never seen that in real life, and I've had long-term girlfriends. <laughs> the, banging, the banging the floor and shoving your pussy on the floor is yeah. like... Well, the, she when she goes to the mosque, she puts a, a hood over her head, and she watches um, rap videos. She watches like twerking videos to like learn all these moves. Dude, what the... F- why the the white man Joni is a bitch, dude. She's tough as nails. You kind of you kind of like her, man. She's just she's a tough cookie. Why are they all like? Why is the crowd like displeased by this? Because that's the moral of the story. The, the The whole movie builds up to the fact that like these girls have it wrong. This isn't how you use your yeah. sexuality. Yeah. You know. For some reason, it took us an hour and a half to get here. Yeah. So. We had to have a girl take a selfie of her. her, her she just her, grabbed her pussy and put her finger in her mouth. Yeah, we had to have a girl take a pelfy in front of her dad. But, I mean, we got here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Moral of the story. Hey, <laughs> see that, you idiots? You didn't watch the whole thing. Exactly. It's actually don't, don't be it's a whore. actually don't be a whore. Yeah, don't be a whore. Just film 650 girls auditioning for this. Yeah, so that's what I really wanted to get to is, you know, some message. Wow, I feel dumb. Some message. I guess... Uh, <laughs> I guess there's some message here where they're making films and we have to have more. We got to knock the muzzies down a peg, whatever this is all about, right? Yeah. But, you know, we had to exploit these five girls. Mm. Well, there was not just five. There was tons of girls who auditioned for this. But these ones especially (laughs) had to go through this. Yeah. The other ones just practiced. These ones had to go yeah. on set with adults. 650. These ones had to go uh-huh. on set, Bill, uh-huh. with adults in the Hollywood industry. Yeah. And they had to perform, you know, this kind of behavior in front of... There's a scene, like you said, you read about, and you saw some of the scene yeah. at the laser tag, where those two older men, probably my age and your age, yeah. standing there, and those girls had to do that in front of them. Yeah. Now, for those four girls, that really happened. Yes. That wasn't some messaging about whatever. It wasn't CGI. It's not Avatar. No. We're not there yet. So that's my argument against this shit is I don't care if you want to get your panties in a bunch and you think this is some kind of film. Maybe we should stop making these films because we don't really need. The film itself isn't going to help advance it. 11-year-old girls don't have the capacity to understand the nuance of this message. They're yeah. going to see these girls dancing like this and they're going to immediately going to imitate it. Yeah. An 11 year old girl is going to see that and they're yeah. going to go through they the same the thing that the girl in the fucking movie went through. Yeah. So this is to me just a child predator's dream where they're just watching confused kids play with their early sexuality. Yeah. I'm done. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I that, did it. I'm done. I'm happy. That, that, that's that. <laughs> So, so now you have the right to go around and call people pedos and shit because you actually saw something. Yeah. She saw a fucking a film. I didn't have a buff. To. They're literally grabbing their inner thighs. Something I. Yeah, I mean, that's a move. If a girlfriend did that to me or something, I'd be like, wow, I'd rem- that would be in the bank. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that would be euphoric recall. I'd be like, man, yes. remember that one time she did that? There's one thing that I always remember about a certain girl laid down. Like prone bone type, yeah. and she reached her hands back and spread her butt cheeks Easy, open. Man. All right, sorry, man, but I, I remember that all the time. That was yeah. one of my go-to. That was one of your cuties. Yeah, 
She, she was cute, yeah. Yeah, I mean. I miss her every day. Yeah, that is tough, man. I'm just done with Netflix. Yeah, I canceled it's Netflix, over. yeah. It's over. That was my last hurrah that was with your, Netflix. That was your last hurrah. Yeah, I did it for the cast, guys. That's that's strong. I didn't want to fall in that trap. I did because it for the cast, and I really want you to get into checking stuff out, you know, so you're not popping your mouth off. You know what I mean? Now you can say whatever Scorpione you want. Scorpione usually has you're a good, Scorpione, gut, you're I have a good Scorpione. gut feeling about things. Yeah. I mean, the, the, I'm up in the air. I'm a gorgeous aquamarine. The reason I didn't watch that is <laughs> we, we can go into my childhood. You're sitting there like, oh, this is fucked up. This is fucked up. I'm like, maybe I should watch it. And then I remember. I would be in a room with Kevin, Tom, Matt, and me, and they would play Would You Rather, and they'd be like, all right, would you rather bang this cousin or this cousin? I'd be like, dude, fuck you. I'm not answering. That's fucking You're gross. actually going to say this on the cast? Yeah. People are going to hear this. It's a joke, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So they're saying this, and then finally, like, I'd answer when they're just hammering me, and they'd just go, ew, dude, we're all kidding. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm going to call them. So this is the reason I didn't watch that, because I had PTSD from getting fucked with Roiling. Yeah, your brothers did a number on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But my He's God. not normal. Yeah. <laughs> I watched BME Paint Olympics in, like, sixth grade. Claim to fame. Showed you guys it. Yeah, I wish I never saw it. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah, I mean, you also showed me glass ass, glass ass <laughs> and lemon fu- party. Yes. <laughs> all fucked up, all disgusting. I fried multiple computers uh, at my parents' house. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I mean. So now you got a gist, that's the basic gist of cuties. Girls, that's what everybody's upset about. Minor pussy. I didn't even put in the earlier stuff, man. The earlier stuff for the build up to that. I mean, they showed a little girl's tit. The build up to that girl showing off her grinding moves is obviously her practicing all those moves by herself and, you know, discovering her newfound feelings of yearning and want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't imagine what the boy equivalent of that is. Just a team of boys who figure well, out Well, if you want to make a con- this is no stand by me, dude. Yeah. If you want to make a coming of age film. We don't have to have the cameraman zooming in on their asses. Yeah. You could have, they could have made this movie without the, exploiting It these. could have been a hip hop dance team. I mean, that's what it is. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. But that's, and it's kind of like a knock on like how far hip hop dance, like WAP, yeah. has gone. So the, basically, the comment, the commentary on this is what the fuck do you think little girls are going to do when they see WAP? Yeah. That's it. So that's what the movie's kind of about, right? Mm. But we could have totally made this movie joking around, yeah, having a goof. You know what I mean? They could have made this movie any which way but Sunday. The cameraman is honed in on these girls' heinies, dude. And like, it's insane. Like I'm sitting there, I'm watching it, and yeah. like you know, your eyes are just going. Yeah, you know, if if you. Like can use a camera. You Speak freely, dude. You just you, went through a lot for this. You can make you can make people's eyes focus on anything you want. That's yeah. like fucking screen composition, dude. Yeah, they are doing it. They're doing a really good job of it. <laughs> Hard to look away. Yes, but I mean, dude, that's coming from a non pedo. I'm not pedo, man. Yeah, I want. I I, I like m- the more mature ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ, man. The, yeah, the fact that like there's directors there. So like well, all, when directors going, direct a movie. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where this is where I get fired up. <laughs> now, Smack her ass for about me. when they're doing this. Yeah. And they're having that little wrestle. There's multiple times where they get into these little like ass slapping, giving each other wedgies, putting each other's makeup on, fingers in the mouth. All this. They're little montages, little free for alls, right? Where they all end up in a pile with their legs spread on top of each other. It's all like a pile on, right? Yeah. And dude. If this organically happened, right? Funny stuff, whatever. This is yeah. what little kids do. This probably took how many takes? Yeah. Around a crowd of men yeah. with films and microphones. So powerful. And the director's like, oh, yeah, let's get another one. Let's zoom in. Can you give her a wedgie? Smack her ass, Can please. you give her a wedgie and push her pelvis forward? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. So these 11-year-olds had to go through this. Yeah. So I don't care. You know, you can... Who's the, Who are the people that are defending this? So uh, The chick, you know I mean? Fisher, and it's like, Nico. Could you put... I get it. You could defend the movie. You could defend the film and the need that it has to be done. But could you really defend? These girls are 11 now. Maybe in real life they're 14 or whatever. Yeah. 
I want you talk talk to them when they're 32. Yeah. And they they don't have any Hollywood work and they're just they were just used and exploited for this film. Yeah. I want you to go revisit them and I want you to defend the movie in yeah. 15 years when they figure out that they were sexually abused, they were fucking exploited. Yes. You know, this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing in the film. Yeah. They have a scene where the girl, the boys in the class don't know what to do with these girls because they they're acting like sluts. But they're saying they're not sluts; they're just dancers. Yeah. But I mean, I understand that this is something that all girls go through. Wh- but what is the context between behind the girl? Write a taking- fucking book, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah like keep it a book. Yeah. The guys that take this and say make it a film, that's where it's like because this isn't. For is kids. it a book? Yeah. This oh, isn't for kids, dude. Leave it a book. Yeah, leave it a book. This isn't for kids. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like this is gonna be. This is gonna be fucking. On Netflix, this is one click away for any kid. Yes. If an 11 year old girl sees this on the screen, they're going to be like, what? I'm not allowed to watch this? Even yeah. all the more reason to watch it. Yes. Click on it and mimic it. Oh, yeah. Not understand the fucking deeper meaning of the life journey yeah. of all get, this fucking get behind, shit. Get behind yeah, three the generations meaning. of Muslim women and all this. Yeah, oh my God. You know what I mean? Like, I understand it. I'm not dumb, is what I'm trying to say. You're smart. I'm not dumb. I see what they're doing. If you're defending it, they like that because yeah. you're dumb. They're above you. They're laughing all the way to the bank. They love that this is out there, and they already had their party. They yeah. got to make it. Exactly. They already had a blast. Euphoria. There's edited footage out of this, dude. Yes. There's like a hit reel getting passed around Hollywood right now. Uh, you think they show the little girl's tit once? Oh, uh, dude, the level of camel toe. I mean, I don't even oh, know how they girl? did it with their little... Yeah, I mean... What do they uh, even have down there? Dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Yeah, seriously. That was forced. Some guy in costume, it. some guy or girl in costume had to put those little pants on and then say, no, let's get these adjusted. Can we get them a little tighter? And then put them on the girl and then jack them up a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Like If you can imagine creating the scene, yes. some girl had to stand there as an adult gave her a pussy wedgie so that it was on screen. That's heinous. I'm just saying, this is what goes down, dude. This isn't like a docu series. Uh, yeah, You're I, not following the Minjonis around France, dude. Every scene in this, the dialogue in this movie, is so fucking bad. What is it? It's just the stupidest fucking movie. It's I don't know stupid. how. The only the reason this, I don't know how this won any awards at all. It won awards. It won awards at Sundance, dude. Fuck Sundance. Oh. The message is kind of powerful. You can't, you can't, you can't deny I that. I think I know. I know who the judges are at Sundance, dude. You know what I mean? Oh, definitely. That's. I tried to talk to my buddies the other day about. Uh, it was last Sunday. They were talking about Scorsese and shit, and um, who's the other one? And they were the the dude, the Poltergeist chick. Oh, Heather O'Rourke. Yeah. yeah. And like, dude, R.I.P. to her guts. Yeah, like, dude, you're out of your mind. You have no idea what you're talking about. I was like, these people are pedophiles. I uh, yeah. I mean. Spielberg's been Spielberg's weird shit fetish with like uh, Schindler's List and all oh, that yeah. stuff. I mean, yeah. I, hey, man, we don't have to get out in the weeds on Hollywood uh, pedophilia, but it's connected to all the other pedophilia that happens in that tier of success. Definitely. So when you're r- running around with that much money and power, there's pedophiles. Because yeah. they can get away with it. It's 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 no different than the Catholic Church. Like if, if you have little kids that are all altar boys, all helping out and shit like that, you go into Hollywood, it's a different level because you have parents who are psychos yeah. who want their kids to be successful at any means necessary. It might be living something out through their kids. That's it, the darkness, yeah. It's just it is pick whoever you want. Any all these people are up for grabs. But like let me just look at it this way. Me and you are not our generation's greatest minds. No, not even close. And if we can figure out that uh, there's a different game being played above the whole, this is empowering. Yeah. It's like, no, this is actually, girls actually had to live this, and you're still buying into like the Hollywood lie. Yeah. Like, we don't need to watch Hollywood's this shit. Hollywood's so done, dude. We just don't need to watch this shit, dude. We yeah. don't need these little messages. Like, make cool-ass fucking movies. Go make Bullet again. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, fucking make something cool. But, like, dude... If you fucking sit here and think that these guys wouldn't do this, that because they're successful, they yeah. must be good, you're smoking crack. Yeah, I had, I had the same exact argument with my friends when they were talking about um, opening up restaurants. Like, restaurants are open to 25% capacity. Restaurants still can't make a profit at that rate. And they were like, maybe these people are just idiots. It's like, dude, 
we are figuring that out, that this is a horrible idea. And you're going to tell me these people are just like, oh, I get, oh, yeah, we're just dumb. I don't know. I'm confused. You're saying that restaurant owners are idiots? No, the people that are continuing to shut down everything, like they, they don't re- co- really comprehend what they're doing to small business and stuff like that. Oh, they know. They're chalking, <laughs> yeah. they're chalking it up like, oh, maybe they're just idiots. It's like, they're not idiots. I figure this well, out. The, I'm a retard. The faces that you see vouching on these guys. They might be compromised idiots, but there's definitely a game being played at the, at the big boy table. Oh, yeah. And this is a 100-year plan to put us back in chains, bro. I'm not a fan right now. Yeah, dude. They started this shit with the Federal Reserve. I mean, they, they've been trying to end our lives, dude, for so long, man. Yeah, th- right now. The globalists. Yeah. That shit that, uh, that dude from the Rogan thing was talking about with that Fed... You get a business, you get a bank account from Fed directly from bank account directly from the uh, central bank, cutting out banks. Therefore, there's no more competition for mortgages. There's no more competition. Yeah, they say for the interest rate, everything. And it's pretty much that, that you have a bank account that they turn on and turn off, put money in, take money out, and you're a chuck, slave. Chuck a social credit score on that dude, and I don't know if hasta la vista, baby. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> nice knowing you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if if that's gonna happen. Everyone is fucked. Especially if when this goes down, the social credit score, the social acceptance, and the pro uh, the pro central bank agenda is mm. cuties is good. Yes. If that's the f- if that's what they're pushing, and that's how you're a good boy, you're a good little boy. If you do <laughs> that, that's how that's how you fucking stay alive. Mm. I'm out, bro. I'm yeah. I'm Unabomber. Oh I'm, yeah. I'm up in Canada. Yes. I'm, I'm going to see if there's fucking Agartha. <laughs> I'll go for a walk. I'll get a paparina, dude. We'll go for a long walk. Yeah, the the similarities that we currently have, the like China and stuff, it's so obvious what they're trying to do. And I don't know how people can't see. Like, They want a social credit score. They want you to have a huge social media um, presence. They want you to put the black box up for Black Lives Matter. They just yeah. want you to see, all right, this this is just easy money for them. Usually back in the day, they couldn't do it. Now it's like, who can we control? Who can we not control? Yeah. And then everyone does the work for them. They have all the data. Yeah. They And they go find the people they can't control. Yeah, the loose cannons. There's, dude, there's there's more to be said, too, about, like, they've got these people so psyop that they'll go and defend cuties. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're like, oh, this is going to give me points in my little group. And your little group is regional. This yeah. is a game they're playing with your little like they've got you down to a T. Re- like let's do an American version of cutie. So that girl's from Senegal. Everybody here has the noble savage thing of like, you know, immigrants. Yeah. You know, you you have to love the immigrants and everything in the America. Wise. Yeah, yeah, all that <laughs> shit. You know, like so let's remake cuties with some West Philly Muslims, and let's make the same fucking movie. Some rugged individuals. Let's make the same movie, and instead of them, let have them be watching WAP, have them be going to a dance competition here in Philadelphia. Same level of exploitation, same judging and everything. Now, is anybody defending this movie, or are they exploiting young black girls? They would be. Exploiting. You know what I mean? They would be like exploiting them. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like the only reason that these people pop off and try to defend it is because they think. They're like, oh, it's France, and all the Minjonis are different colors. Dude, is this the 19 fucking 30s? Like, oh, this, I mean, it's Paris. I, dude, I guarantee, <laughs> I guarantee you, if all those girls were black, black Muslims, yeah, or if that was a black Muslim girl, and she was just with black chicks in West Philly, they wouldn't be defending this movie at all. They'd be coming after the guys that made it, the white guys that made it. Yes. If you want to call them that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I I like I'm literally on the fence. I don't know if they would. Oh no, they wouldn't. They would they would come after it saying that this is exploiting like only it only matters if they were all black. Yeah, the it, the intersectional problems here are immense, dude. Yes. You know what I mean? Like the they got away that's what I'm saying is the fact that they got this thing through and and people are defending it is like threading a needle. Threading, like you know what I mean. Like oh, yeah. this is, they fucking got this thing in there. They they watch and they played all the right cards. There's one girl that looks Hispanic. Yeah. There's one girl that's white. There's one. one girl you know what like I mean? Me. They, yeah, they got them all in there, dude. And they 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 fucking threaded this needle. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's kind of crazy. 
Yeah, people I mean, are defending it. If you put this, I don't know what France is like, but if you put this movie in America, I don't think anyone would defend it. No. You know what I mean? Because it's clearly I, exploiting. I, I, you get, I can't, you get I, what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, but yeah. I literally can't even think of people defending it. Like, it's blowing my mind. That no, people, people are, are defending it all day long right now. Nuts. But I feel like that is more of they have a little bit of racism where, like, they think, like, a girl from Senegal, you know, like, she has to go through this. You know, like, they look at them, like, lower. Yeah. You know, like, they're behind the times. Do they not, like, see videos of, like, the real immigrants that come and refugees from Senegal that, like, uh, a lady will get chopped up into pieces? Yeah, it's weird. They have this problem in the movie. They show, like, the dad, like, the girl doesn't like the dad or whatever, but, you know, there's some of those Muslim men run a house with an iron fist. Yeah, they'll beat the lives. fuck out of you. <laughs> so that wasn't in the film. So. It's just fake. Yeah, it's just weird. I wonder, like, I wonder if they could... You know, if you love the movie so much, Netflix, and you're really pushing for it, make an American version. Yeah. And make it real. They did it with The Office. <laughs> you know, make it real. Make, put it put it in Chicago. Yeah. And, you know, you can have girls of all the ethnicities. You could try it. Do, do the same effort. But I'm talking American now. And see if we're going to get away with it. I you know just, what I mean? I don't, I don't think Hollywood should exist anymore, dude. It doesn't need to. Yeah. The- Fuck California. It's burning. <laughs> Dude, that shit's wild. Like, a lot of people are saying that. There's just people starting fires. Probably, man. I mean, I don't know anything about that stuff, but, like, I think that they don't do these burns. I think you're the supposed control to. control burns. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to do this other shit like old-time forest guys used to do, and they don't yeah. do it anymore. They do it in straight. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. That shit's fucking crazy, though. What? Like, the fire. They're huge, dude. Everything's just red and shit. Oh, yeah, it's nuts. That looks apocalyptic. Also, dude. My my last hurrah on Netflix was our boy Walter. No, did Mucho, you watch Mucho, it? Mucho, Mucho, more. Holy How funny shit. was that guy? What a beast. That guy is the man. That's, it, it, can't they all be non-binary like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a wild-ass movie. Tell Could, people what you're talking about. Uh, what, what's his name? Walter what? Walter Mercado. Mercado, yeah. He was like We're a, into uh, astrology now. Yeah. It's no big deal. <laughs> he was the big astrologer, but like, a beautiful dude. Scorpione. That like this dude had everyone. He was like, "Oh, I didn't. I ne like, did you hear this shit growing up?" No, we're not Mexican, so I don't fucking know. I, yeah, he was on yeah. Stern. Yeah. yeah, that that dude was a fucking beast. That's my main thing. Like with the he was on late Stern. So. Yeah, yeah, with with the astrology hate. It's like at the end of the day, like obviously no one's looking into the future, but if they can change your mindset into a positive mindset where you're hoping you're ready for good things to happen and all that shit. The lies, the deception that the paint stores hit me with this week as they butt fucked me yeah. on a big barn, dude. What did I do? I calmed down. Was that whole bar made of cypress? I don't know what that shit is. I'll, I'll look it up, yeah. Because if that, it, it's worth more different, than your house. There's multiple different kinds of woods going on there. Yeah. But anyway, I fucking, I sat there, Mars of retrograde, whatever, coming at me. Yeah, you got bodied. But dude. Santo Banucci, bro. I bring the chrism up from the bottom, dude. From the bottom to the top. I'm a gorgeous aquamarini. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that dude. was some like magician shit. So you had a whole barn to paint that you brought down to the beautiful, the beautiful wood. That the beautiful was. wood, dude. That shit was amazing. And the homeowner wanted to make it creamy. Whatever. I'm not gonna hate. Obviously, you're an idiot, but I'm gonna hate. And they gave you the wrong tint. Uh, yeah. I mean, I got six gallons. Not one of these things was the same. Obviously, she just went to my man Dennis, dude. Like a fucking, I'm retarded. Yeah, I'm like going to other places. Like and this is a I'm house, kinda, in like one of the wealthiest places in America. Yeah, this guy's worth like twenty mil. Fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah. That would have been a huge fucking lawsuit. Huge fuck up. I fixed it with my artistic skills, but I mean, did hey, you dude. go there this morning? No, nah, I didn't have time. Oh my god, I'll go there later. I just want to see what it looks like in this morning sun. Yeah, that I lost is, the sun in the afternoon, dude. Yeah. That was amazing. The fact that you pulled that off blew my fucking Well, mind. fingers crossed. We still have to get the final approval and payment. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. the, the fact that it doesn't look like it was going to look. I was shocked insane. that I, yeah, I was like, wow, this is good. Just but I mean, time. Mars Mars tried to throw me into a fucking Nego prison, dude. Threw me in the pits like Spartacus. Yeah. Fought my way out. Here I am with Crixus right now, dude. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah, that uh, hats off to you on that one. That pumped me the fuck up. Now, now the the big goal right now, I gotta find so, anyone on Patreon or whatever. If anyone knows people who build kit buildings, I need to find one. Oh, Fifty yeah, by eighty, baby. let's the, go, the good baby. Ones. 
I'm about to have a home. Dude. This is a big dream for Bill. This Bill Bill's been had been wanting to have a shop for how many years? Three years at least. Yeah, I I constantly like when you have to organize our yard down in Chester. It's not like your house. You're the COO. You're not bragging. Yeah, it's not like you're just cleaning up a room. Everything's fucking huge. Yeah, you need machines to move everything. So I've I've done this maybe six or seven times, dude. We changed the attitude. It was always like, ah, we're fucked. Nothing's gonna happen. Change the attitude. What happens? We're starting to get concrete prices. We need to get we need to get building plans, stuff like that. So this is what I'm saying. Like, even if you hate astrology, if you can just change, like Trump did. Trump was in that church. Positive attitude. Positive mindset. You can do a lot more shit. Because it kind of like when you hear like the the astrology shit. Dude, if you're a gladiator, they throw you in the arena and you're like, fuck, I'm going to die. You're probably going to die. Yeah. If you look across at the dude and go, like, if this dude's missed me, goodbye. Yeah. Are you not entertained? <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been all week long just keeping it positive, not watching any of the shit on the news. I have watched no news this week. Yeah. You know, I, I couldn't get into the news. I tried to make the intro. I was like, fuck it, just put Jones on. You know, I had no, I had nothing for... Instead, you watch Minjonis, which is okay. I watch Minjonis for the cast, dude. Yeah. I watch it so that you can have a fucking informed opinion Yeah. on how these guys that are defending it, are they pedophiles? Probably not. Do they understand what I'm talking about? Maybe not. You know what I mean? Like, these people that are defending it, dude, they might not be thinking about the actual girls that have to live through this. Yeah. And you might not think it's that big of a deal, but, you know... I want a regular, if there's dads and moms listening out there, go take your 11-year-old girl, send her out to a summer camp where this is what's going on at the summer camp. You think she's going to be crying, coming home homesick when nah. she's done? Are you going to be dealing with the fact that this happened to her for the next couple years? Probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if this wasn't, so, if they didn't sell their kids for the Hollywood money, and this this was an independent film. They probably didn't get paid that much. Yeah, obviously. So well, they probably got paid a lot of money for the Well, Netflix <laughs> Netflix paid the filmmakers a lot of money. Yeah. But I wonder how, how much the parents got for the child actors, who knows. But like if you sit there and you did this to a if you did this to your daughter, yeah. I remember I went away to I won a camp for soccer. Really? I was really good at penalty shots. And I sucked at penalty. Yeah, shots. dude. Like it was one like, year kindergarten won the championship. We had a we had a um, championship at Bonner, and it was like pressure was on playoff game. You bend it like Billy, dude. <laughs> upper ninety all day long. So some dude came up to us after the thing and was like, "Yo, do you want to go to a camp?" And I was like, "Holy shit!" I went to a soccer camp with a bunch of rich kids. They made fun of me because I didn't have pubes yet. I still remember it. I still remember like Why did they see your pubes? Because I had to sit down because you sleep. It was like sleepover soccer camp at Bryn Mawr. Uh, or no, Haverford College. Yeah. So it was like these kids. That's next level. I always heard the kids going to the sleepover camps like basketball and shit. I was like, dude, that's sick. Yeah. So was, all these kids are on like club teams and shit. I yeah. just played for CYO. I, yeah. I sucked. St. Thomas. I went there. I got the like the Rudy Award for like having the most spirit, you know. Was and it then at the co-ed end, I, when you played? No. Oh, okay. I got. Oh, yeah. It was co-ed. CYO was co-ed, but. Not the clubs and all. Uh. But then, um, so like, yeah, dude, I went there and we were laying in bed at night and these kids were showing each other that they got pubes and I had no pubes. You were bro. I was a Minjoni. Yeah. And fucking, I still remember it. Yeah, it fucks you up. If I, I remember getting teased, getting fucking mocked. Because you didn't have pubes. Because I didn't have the pubes. You just had some I didn't of those have clear the, boys. I didn't have the pubes. Yeah. And fucking. What grade were you in? Sixth grade, maybe seventh grade, yeah, it came something in like right that. around there, yeah. And uh, yeah, dude. So imagine sending an eleven-year-old out, making a film, then videotape that, videotaping it, having it go worldwide as a controversial film. Yeah, every motherfucker's seeing this. Just you constantly pulling your pants down, like fuck. Yeah, let's re- let's check in with these bays. <laughs> your dad screaming at you, and you just take a picture of your pubes. I remember going home, phone. and my dad was like, "How was it?" I was like, "It was good." It's it fucking glitter bags, whatever. <laughs> oh my god yeah then you started searching for the truth after the people from Bryn Mawr hurt you <laughs> yeah that, rich soccer players yeah there there's so much shit like that that's happened in my life where it's like one one hundredth of the shit that the cuties girl went through and i'll never forget it like all those like weird little sex things dude it's like that's in your brain forever, and it wasn't videotaped. And this is an advanced. This is like an advanced thing that they're showing. Like these aren't your run of the mill girls. No. So even in the grade themselves, 
these are like the advanced girls that are yeah. like practicing their sexuality. These, what grade is that? Fifth? Yeah. These actresses are like, you know, they have to be told, they have to be coached into this. This isn't natural. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like th- these aren't girls. These aren't women. Yeah. They have to be like coached into like, this is how you move your body sexually. Yeah. I mean, by adults. That's what, when I was in fifth grade, I remember looking at the girls in my grade and then going home and opening the Coles catalog to the bra section. Like, dude, the chicks in my grade are beat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, dude. I don't even want to look at them. Yeah. And they're dude. showing us this stuff. Yeah. There's the, the way they dress just normally is a bit much. Oh, Imagine yeah. being a fifth grade boy and this movie comes out. Yeet. That happened with, <laughs> there was a remake of the Bad News Bears. I think I was in like sixth grade when it came out, dude. The blonde girl on it fucked me up. This is like showgirls. Yeah. But for 11 year olds. Child porn. Yeah. What kind of page, huh, dude? Fuck this. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking hell. I wish we had headphones, man. 